Hey guys, um, Len here. Yesterday I decided to do another one of these wall hooks. For hanging clothes on. That might be better. I enjoy making these. I'm going to show you something a bit different here in a minute. Right, that's the one I made yesterday. Sits on the wall like that. Okay. The other one I made months ago. Where did I put it? I had it down here for reference. For doing the bend. This is the first one I made. Oops, nearly dropped that. This one actually was done with the balls. I got this inspiration from Black Bear Forge from John Schweitzer. This one had the balls. It's a bit more fiddly. Still good. But with this one, I thought that I would do something a bit different. Instead of making the ball, I just rounded this. It's hard to get a focus. Here we go. I just rounded it that way. And filed it. So as John said, if you give this to your mother or grandma, and they catch that good. <laughs> Cash be coat or something on it, they're not going to be too happy. So that's how I did this one. I think it'll be all right. Put my touch mark on there. LC Lenny Chiquetto. Had that made by Glenn T.S. Tongs. Well, not him, but he he's got a bloke makes touch marks in um, Taiwan. So anyway guys, that's what I did yesterday. Worked out okay. Don't know what I'm gonna to do today. Oh, um while well, I think of it, I've been making these handles. Here in Australia it's hard to find good file handles. Um they've only got one plastic one down at Bunnings, that's one of our biggest hardware stores. And uh, when I asked the bloke the other day, does it fit all files? He said, nah, only fits one type of file, so that wasn't any good because they're quite expensive. So, anyway, I thought I'd make close the other day, and he gave me this beautiful um, square bits of wood that he had. And this is called Queela, comes from South Southeast Asia. So, I've been making some file hands because he gave me, my mate gave me some good files the other day. So I've been making some file handles too. A bit rough. I think that was my first one. Had a bit of aluminium for the tang there. So um, so that's the first one. Put the hooks over there. This is the wood. And this is the other one I made. This is the second one I made. A little bit different, nearly the same. But it could have been a bit longer for my hand. Oh, look, at, look at the burns we get as blacksmiths. <laughs> so yeah, there's that one. That's a second cut. Second cut file. Flat smooth. This is called a bastard fault. It's a bit coarser. Then he gave me a little square file, and this is the one I made yesterday. I'm really happy with this one. Put my own little design on it. More round. But what I wanted to say was, while I was making these, sorry, I'm trying to get this thing down off top shelf here. I used this, what I made the other day. 
my drawing knife. I used that to get down to this. So there's the drawing knife. Just let me put it somewhere. I'm just going to put it on that old stump there. So here's, I've been working on this. So you go to me square and I've been drawing it down, folding it, making it some round. So I quite enjoy the woodwork. It's good. Um, there's some more of it here. This is my steel pile. This is some more of that timber. Wheeler. Here's some more I've been turning down. And guys, why don't I get out of here? Crank quarters in this spot here. Anyway, that's on my vice. So, here's some more of it. This was, I was turned, I brought this down with, um, the draw knife. Hang on, let me do this up. Things keep moving on me here. There we go. Beautiful wood. Nice grain. Oh, this is just where I'm going to have marks where I might cut it off. Get my hand size here. So anyway, that, I've been doing that too. Using my draw knife and um, I'm really happy with my draw knife. Gave it another touch up yesterday. Sharpened a bit more. I'm going to have to set this camera up so I can show you how good this is. Can't help yourself. Go have a bit of a go. Now oh, it's a bit hard doing it. But as you can see, I did all this with the draw knife. Nice shape. I'm getting a nice shape here now. This one's sort of not quite round, but more like a handle, I suppose you'd have for a hammer. So I quite like that for a nice big grasp. So anyway guys, that's what I've been doing. This is the latest one. It's pretty smooth. Right here. Of course I'll finish it off with my oil. Where am I? Here. So yeah, finish it off with the oil. Gives it that nice look. Anyway, that's that little hook. Alright guys, um, I'm in the process of designing a new forge. I might even use this one. This works really well. I'm thinking of cutting it. I want to make it wider and higher. I find inside diameter is a bit a bit narrow. It's only about four inches high here. And, that, and I want it a bit wider. By the time you get insulation in there, it's if you've got larger stuff, it's hard to get in and out. But this refractory that I got the other day, this 1600. It's good stuff, it's holding up really well. That's it there. There we go, there's a good shot of it. It's really durable. This stuff here. 
makes a good floor for a forge. So anyway, uh, that's just some ceramic board. I'll put the front like that. Has a hole. If I've got something thinner, I could put through there. I'll just move that out the way. Anyway, guys, um, I will get the camera out and start video and more stuff. Um, had to be a beautiful day here in Australia, Brisbane. I cut a pathway to me neighbours through the, the old hedge we got here. Because <laughs> uh, we're getting on really good. He's a woodworker, so he's. I oh, he gave me this great chunk of wood the other day. Look at this. I oh, lent me that. That's for. That's a little stand, but he gave me this chunk of wood. Oh, I don't know what it is. That's a good hardwood. Don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I might use it for uh, part of it when I'm doing leaves and that. Yeah, bend it on a bit of wood and it smokes and put a nice dent. I don't know what this is. She's quite heavy. I'm flat out lifting this with one hand. Oh, no, nah, not that left hand. No way. Anyway, guys, this is Led signing off, and I'll catch you later. Bye for now.